Hello and welcome to day one of the Advent Calendar of Reflections from the Elmi Trinity Benefice. My name's Sarah and I'm based at St Peter's in Thorna and I'm one of the licensed lay ministers in the Benefice. Now each day there'll be a different reflection by a different person as we journey through Advent together and today we're going to be reflecting on Psalm 122. I rejoiced with those who said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Our feet are standing in your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built like a city that is closely compacted together. That is where the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, to praise the name of the Lord, according to the statute given to Israel. There stand the thrones for judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you be secure. May there be peace within your walls and security within your citadels. For the sake of my family and friends, I will say, peace be within you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your prosperity. Where is it that we're going? I wonder if you've ever taken the time to stop and ponder on where it is that you particularly are going spiritually or perhaps where you particularly are going practically in your own life or where the world's headed or where even perhaps we're going as a church. Well, Psalm 20, 122 starts with an invitation let us go to the house of the Lord. And as Advent marks the start of the Christian year, it's another opportunity just to stop and take stock of where we are personally and where our focus lies. And like all new beginnings, we stand on this threshold where we look back at everything that has happened in the last year and then we turn and look forward in hope. And so it's quite a useful exercise, really, if only to put our lives and the events in our lives into the right perspective. It's this chance to um, reflect on what changes we need to make so that we can keep focused on that hope that we find in Jesus and perhaps take a hold of that hope afresh. So it seemed appropriate, really, to kick off our Advent reflections with a pilgrimage psalm. Psalm 122, which we've just heard, is a psalm about pilgrimage to Jerusalem, to the very heart of God. And it reminds us that as Christians, we're on a very different pilgrimage path to the modern day, pre-Christmas, consumer frenzied, focus on office parties and the buying of presents and Santa and perhaps eating more than we should. Our pilgrimage instead is first and foremost focused on a double vision of Jesus as we look forward firstly to his birth on Christmas Day and secondly to his return at the second coming. And God, in all of that, is at the beginning and the end of the world's salvation story. As the hymn says, all our hope on God is founded, and we somehow have to live out this hope in the time between God's plan having started in the birth of Jesus and his death on the cross, and its ultimate consummation, when all things are made new, when he returns. Now, the focus of Psalm 122 is the city of Jerusalem, which we know was destroyed by the Babylonians. And as I was looking at this psalm, I thought we should really think about that. Ponder on the fact that Israel probably wrote and treasured this psalm from exile. They were unable to physically go to Jerusalem 
which was where the temple was and where God was supposed to be. And so if you think about that, this psalm was sung to stir up their faith, to renew their confidence in God and to remind them of the assurance of what they couldn't see. It was perhaps a way in dark times of grasping hold of that hope. And so where were they going? They were going to the house of the Lord. And as I wrote this reflection, I started thinking about our present circumstances. And as I wrote this reflection, the war in Ukraine still rages. There are concerns over human rights in Qatar, which is where the World Cup's just started. And there's a cost of living crisis, amongst other things. And all of this has happened after we've just emerged out of the shadow of a global pandemic. And yet if we listen to this psalm, it starts, I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. So God really is here in the midst of it all. And we, if we think about it, are already standing at the gates of God's sanctuary, able to catch glimpses of the place where God's peace and security prevail. And isn't that just our Christian hope? So where are we going? We too are going to the house of the Lord. And this is known, this psalm, as a song of ascent. It's an image of fellow pilgrims encouraging one another to worship as they make their way uphill, trudge their way uphill to Jerusalem. Just as we, too, are also called to encourage one another on our way as we start to sort of navigate um, all the challenges of modern life. We're somehow on that same spiritual pilgrimage into the heart of the divine and so we too can rejoice and we can encourage one another because we too are coming to a place where God dwells to a God who only works for our good to a God whose peace transcends every situation and so just as with those early pilgrims the life of Christ we know is already planted deep within us, that joy and hope that sustains us, that can't be taken away from us ever. So, But sometimes though, in life, we just need these sorts of reminders. And so as we make that journey through Advent in this Advent calendar, we'll hear a variety of reflections from different people from all walks of life fellow pilgrims on the way, if you like, with a kaleidoscope of different styles and perspectives and life experiences. And yet all of us will be centred on our collective hope in Jesus Christ. And so I hope that this Advent calendar of reflections proves to be a deep and rich well of encouragement for you personally and that you personally will glimpse God in it, glean perhaps some of that deep peace, that refuge, that healing, that hope and that joy that we are making our way towards. So come, let us go to the house of the Lord. Let us be thankful for the joys and the sorrows and the lessons of the last year. And let us have the courage to let go of all the things that harm us or hinder us so that we can turn afresh to Christmas Day with renewed hope and renewed expectation. And as the psalm says, if you revisit it, may those who love you, Lord, be secure and may there be peace within your walls. Amen. Do join us tomorrow for another Advent Reflection.